So for today, we're going to be looking at Hollow Fire Heart. This did get asked for not too long ago. And again, if you guys want to ask for a specific exotic, an armor set, anything like that, shader, let me know in the comments below. Get started on it because I pretty much just cover fashion <laughs> in Destiny 2, which is funny. I will try to post more of the non-fashion stuff, like maybe some solo runs, um, some solo flawless stuff, maybe some PvP, just because some variety in the channel would be good even though that probably would be going against my algorithm but even still i just want to do more than just fashion so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it it does help me a lot it really really does so i really do appreciate it but other than that let's actually see what hollow fire heart does so hollow fire heart's exotic perk is called sunfire furnace improves the recharge rate of your solar abilities greatly improves recharge rate while your super is charged provides a small benefit to the airborne effectiveness that of all weapons so this is pretty good i did not know that you got an airborne effectiveness uh bonus with this exotic i don't know why you would i don't know why they felt the need to do this i don't want to go on a rant but i just why would this exotic give airborne effectiveness when it has nothing to do with weapons it's literally an ability super or well abil ability slash super exotic which basically not only do you get improved recharge rate for your solar abilities, just a, a flat buff, but you also get an even better buff when your super is charged. So I don't understand why you get a plus 20 airborne effectiveness. It's just, I don't know, seems too free to me, but uh, whatever. I'm just a hunter who's still salty about their stompies nerf, whatever. Uh, either way, it's a really good exotic if you want to have uptime on your abilities. That being said, I think this is solely just going to be used for grenade spam, just because with with a uh, solar titan i mean like realistically you're going to be using the hammers a lot and if you lose your hammer then that's just kind of weird because it's really like you have to go out of your way to lose your hammer so this definitely is going to just be more of a grenade thing than anything else but i mean you could also use the other melee with this although at that point why would you use that melee i think the hammer is just better Either way, it's good for grenade spam, but that really is all there is to this. As for how it actually looks, it looks really cool. The only unfortunate part is the fact that the fire in the belly does not change color. Uh, the default look and the ornaments have that problem where just the, the glow in the stomach will not change color. So just make sure you get some of these ornaments because I, well, specifically one of them. I think the, the one, the third one, the second one is the best one and you guys will see what i mean when we look at it but for the default look i think it looks fine um i will say some of the some of the shader situations is kind of annoying let's actually just look at the shader real quick so again for the shadering uh it's gonna be really good the only unfortunate part is that crest in the middle it will not change color and the wiring on the collarbone i guess no not collarbone well i guess collarbone kind of uh basically that yellow stripe isn't just not gonna change color so those are the only two pieces that don't really change color. There is a red dot on the side of the arms that don't change color as well, but that's so minute that most people won't really care about that. It's just the big medallion and the wires that really don't change color. Echo Anger looks really good with it, but to be fair, Echo Anger looks really good with a lot of pieces, so I'm not really surprised by that. Abyssinian Gold, again, the brown. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk too much about this because I've said this in multiple videos, but the browns uh there i would have liked it if it took the black just because that would have been a much better color but again let me know what you guys think about the shadering as for the example set you guys will notice that i'm using a few pieces from the solar set which makes sense considering i think that's going to be the best set you can combine this with to the point where i would probably just go with radiant breaker all the way just because it's going to look cool but that would be much a much more like uh only when i'm like i don't really care about fashion and i'm just trying to like just look cool because I will get a lot of people saying like, oh, it's just one one armor set and an exotic. I get it, but at the same time, like sometimes I just want to look basic, I guess you would say. Uh, but for the helmet, Nightly Noir Helm is a good helmet. I love this helmet and I wanted some glow on the eyes, which is this one is perfect for that. For the arms, Radiant Breaker Gauntlets uh, is probably the best choice. That being said, I think the Radiant Breaker is also a better choice just because uh the the chest piece has like that fire right and the mark i think looks really cool because it looks like the fire is like like your the exhaust of the fire is going down as well so this one's pretty rough if i were to choose i think radium breaker mark would be the best choice for this just because again i think the the fact that the flames going down kind of look like a like an exhaust of the fire in the belly i think that looks super cool 
Radiant Breaker Gauntlets look super dope. I love how they look, but at the same time, I just think personally, I think this just looks way better. Vulcan's heart. Why the fuck is Vulcan's heart there? And as for the chest piece, obviously we're using the exotic. This is weird though. It's showing up as Vulcan's heart, but it's not Vulcan's heart. I'm not using Vulcan's heart. I'm just using the default look for it. Vulcan's heart and then is the next one, which we'll look at that once I'm done explaining. For the boots, Solstice Graves Magnificent was an easy choice considering the cracks and the fire. Again, you're just going to want to lean into the to the solar of this just because it's going to look better overall. That being said, you can you, you could probably switch the Solstice Graves for the Radiant Breaker boots. I think those would be a little bit better. That being said, uh, you do lose out on the cracks that look like fires coming out from within, which I think is really cool. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I definitely like this set and it's definitely a set you probably have a better chance to do if you don't have any of the ornaments. Uh, specifically for the the chess piece but i do understand this is a lot this is heavy on ornaments because nightly noir helm is from uh season of the plunder specifically the fortnite armor radiant breaker is from that same season i think and it's from the solar set and then solstice graves that one's that uh, you definitely have had to have been playing that season specifically that event to get this so these pieces are a bit out there, but at the same time, I think this looks really cool. And again, if you really just want to just use the Radiant Breaker stuff, it's going to look super dope. If you want to like switch it out, just make sure you, you're using pieces that have glows. So that way you can have like that orange glow, which I really didn't mention. But Carminica, is, the reason I'm using the shader is because it gives you an orange glow. So if you don't have any of the pieces that I have, but you still want to have an orange glow, then again, just make sure you have pieces that have actual glows to them, and then Carminica will be good for that. There are other shaders that give you an orange glow as well, but I'm not going to post them all right now because that's a lot. But if you guys do want a... Actually, that'd be a pretty cool idea of making a video of shader, which shaders and glows they have. That'd be a rough video, though. That'd be, that would be that would take a while, but let me know if you guys are interested. But... As for the ornament, it's called Vulcan's Heart. This one's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I know I just said two completely different things. I think it looks really cool. I definitely love how it looks. It's just very unfortunate that the texture of the chest piece has almost like a rock look because we don't have anything like that, like not even slightly. And the pieces that we do have are exotics, which obviously you can't pair exotics with exotics because if it were up to me, I would actually be pairing this with two exotics, specifically the Antaeus Wards. I think those would look really cool with this chest piece and the no backup plans specifically with the ornament, the uh, Pi Piezo Piezo Electric Stagger Stratagem. It's it's the one that looks like rocks. That's what I would do for this set, just because, again, we don't have rocks as an armor set. So the best thing you can do is most likely like hive pieces just because that's going to look a lot better as for how it shaders it's the same thing as the as the default look i do think this looks a little bit better though because there's a lot more cracks so you do see a lot more like it, it definitely looks like lava like which is what the ornament is conveying the inside of the chest is lava and you see a lot of cracks. I think it's super cool. It shaders really well. Let's talk about that. Echo Anger looks super, super dope with this. I think it looks amazing. Uh, Busy Angle looks okay with it. Again, the brown color kind of ruins it for me. But if you could get like a really solid black color with this, I think it would look fucking wild. Again, I, I like this ornament, but I just can never wear it because even with the example set that I made, I'm like kind of... I'm like, OK with it, like I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it, which speaking of which for the example set, I'm using the Pylos following helm specifically because of that red, that deep, rich red for the arms raising the war Newman's fist. Now, this is interesting because I am not the biggest fan of these arms, but the reason I'm using it is because I wanted to use the descending echo greaves and I didn't want to use the descending echo arms with them as well. So. For me, I actually like how this set came out as a whole, but if we ever get the Crota's End armor set, I'm definitely going to combine it with that because I feel like those arms just look way better. But I also don't remember, but I also remember loving almost every piece from the Titan armor set. So I'm like at either or at that point. 
For the mark, we're using the foreign mark. I usually use this if I'm going for an organic look just because it looks really cool. So for the shader, we're using Tide Smoke, which is an interesting shader considering this is one of the shaders that actually turns your glows into an orange glow or a deep orange, deep red, almost there, somewhere around there. It's a really good shader if you want to have a, a really rich red or, or orange. I don't remember off the top of my head. I think it's red, if I remember correctly. And yeah, I really like this set. It's super, super cool. Again, my only gripe is the fact that you're going to have to use uh, pieces that are hive themed or at least hive adjacent because the rock, the rocky like texture of the chest piece will only look good with pieces that have that same texture. And again, hive pieces have that texture. So at that point, you're just going to have to decide, like, do I want to go for it? it honestly, I really wish we, we got more rocky armor. Like that'd be really cool because then you could actually combine them. that being said, I mean, we would need more than just one set because I'm not going to use all of the set in one with one exotic. So even, even if we got one, I would still want like five more or four more. So that way I can use more pieces, but that's just me being picky. But yeah, Titans, I wonder what you guys think about the Vulcan's heart. I, again, I love how it looks. I just think it's, it's pretty rough to combine it with other pieces specifically because of the rocky texture. And then last but not least, we have the Arcturus engine. This is my favorite ornament for this. It just looks so cool. Um, be aware that the blue color does not change color. So it is unfortunate because like I would have liked it if this one changed color because that and that, oh my God, that would have been amazing. But even then, it still looks really, really cool. There's like hardly, there's nothing I really want to complain about this set, even though there is three pieces that don't change color. But I... To, to be fair, I don't think I mind, which let's just get into the shadering for the Echo Anger. It looks really, really cool for the pieces that don't change color. It's going to be the inner gray or inner steel color and the other sides as well. So those three pieces do not change color. But at the same time, I don't think that that bothers me too much, considering like that kind of makes sense in my head. But do be aware that it just doesn't change color. Echo Anger looks super dope with this. It looks super, super dope with this. I highly recommend this shader. And Abyssinian Gold even looks pretty cool with it. Again, even though I don't like that brown color, I still think it looks really, really cool. And thankfully, the like remove before flight thing does change color as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, overall, this is probably the coolest looking ornament for Titan, specifically for chess piece. I would probably mm, that's never mind. I was going to say that, but then I thought about the, the ornament for uh, for the arc chess piece on that that gives the uh, Curious of the Falling Star. I think Curious of the Falling Star, specifically the Comet Stirring Dream. I think that ornament is way better. But this is still a really good ornament. I, I think it's top five best ornaments for Titans just because it looks really, really cool. As for the example set, I ended up going with a weird look for this, but let me explain my thought process. So for this one, I was immediately hooked on Forge Machinist Greaves just because I feel like those two are going to match really well together i'm going for like a techno anything really honestly and for that i immediately went with hardened basilisk helm i think that's a really good set for this and it has a glow as well which is kind of what i wanted uh for the arms using the hardened basilisk gauntlets again uh specifically because they're symmetrical which is great like it's a plus on my book for me because everything i'm wearing is symmetrical and the spiky bits don't bug me as much as I think they should just because as a whole, I think this looks really, really cool. And to be fair, the chess piece does have little pieces of, of, of pointy bits. So that kind of like doesn't like it kind of like alleviates my concern about that. And then for the Mark Lustrous Chromite Mark, uh, I wouldn't say it was an easy choice. It was just a choice I made because I didn't want anything in the front or in the sides. So Honestly, a mark that has just something on the back would be good. But I also wanted the belt to be like metallic and also to have that uh, purple color uh, specifically from Ultra Plasmic. We're using this one because the glow is actually the same color or damn near the same color as the belly color. So that's why I'm using it. And it's also a really good shader, especially since that you have that really cool chrome. But underneath the Forge Machine is uh, chrome. You can see like that dip, like that rich purple which is why I'm using it. 
So this is probably my favorite example set, aside from maybe the first one. The first one is super dope, very thematic to the actual look of the exotic. But I do think this one just looks overall better. I will say I would probably switch out the arms for something else, something a little bit more mechanical, something to like really uh, make the Forge Machines Greaves look really good with the arms. But this is the first set that I made with it and I really like it. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do apologize that these videos are taking a while, but uh, man, I, I just am terrible at life <laughs> right now. Uh, nothing too crazy. It's just the fact that I messed up my sleep schedule again. And to me, that's just, it's the worst feeling because right now it's 12 PM, 12 in the afternoon. I'm going to go to sleep because I'm really tired and I'm probably going to wake up at six o'clock and vice versa. Just keep, continue that fucking vicious cycle we'll see i mean i have i have a few videos that i have to record before i'm allowed to go before i'm i allow myself to go to sleep but yeah let me know what you guys think uh i appreciate you i i, pre, I appreciate you all be safe and i'll see you guys later